I think it's time that, that the UK or Europe had its own limousine. We've been importing American limousines for a very long time. Uh, having been to the Vegas show the last few years, we've seen the increase in limousine buses and coaches. Um, we needed a vehicle that ticked all the boxes. For you know, We needed a street legal vehicle. Um, we wanted a vehicle that had a correct warranty, uh, a right-hand drive, economical vehicle, and um, that, that actually looked European. Um, and we've wanted to build a vehicle in the UK, totally. So this is what we did. It's, it's, a, it's a brave concept, getting the public to look at a different kind of vehicle. But we've, we've embraced all the American you know, interiors that you would associate with the limousines. And we've, got, we've still got the wow factor inside. Um, but we have a street legal vehicle, that's important. And we've also introduced a vehicle that's got wheelchair access, which is a first. So we're very, we're, we're very pleased with that. And with the re reactions we're now getting, all been very positive from everybody around the country. We're, we're, we're very pleased with it. We've got to get away from this Americanism all the time. With you know that the size matters, and you know is super stretch vehicles. Most of these vehicles aren't capable of, of, of handling the roads anyway. The turning circles on the vehicles. Um, but we've just got to move on with, with a good looking vehicle. We've got all the interior that you could possibly want to have a good, a good, you know, a good time vehicle, a party vehicle. Um, and I think it's got, the, it's got the wow factor that the public wants. It's got the badge, it's got the Mercedes credibility. Um, it looks awesome at night. So it still has a major presence on the road. If you can see this coming down the road, you know, we, we've brand named it Starfleet. Um, and we want to live up to that sort of name. It's a very futuristic vehicle. Uh, you know, we've got other ideas in mind for, for, for other vehicles. It won't stop at this. And, but we're going to go along the, the, the UK, European look of vehicle. And we've been showing it to younger generations. Um, they love it, love the look of it. Um, in fact, even today here at the show, we, we, we have not had anybody mention to us about American vehicles. They've just come in, got on board, looked at it. Terrific. Love it. If we go back far enough, we were the only limousine importer in London in, in, the, in the 90s. We couldn't register vehicles. When, with the introduction of SVA, we couldn't register a limousine unless we had an SVA on a vehicle. But meanwhile, there was a lot of other importers outside of the London area that could get them registered. So we would never had a level playing field to work with. And we campaigned for a very long time to have street legal SVA vehicles. And there were so many people that were bypassing SVA. So it, it, it went on from there. And then it was a question of, well, we want to carry more than eight people. So we campaigned to say, well, if you're going to do that, you've got to go down the route of PSV. Oh, we can't do PSV. It's a grey area. But it never was. It was always in black and white. It was very clear. So we set out to do a, 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 a PSV coif on a Ford excursion, which we achieved two years ago. And that changed the limo, tra limo trade as we know it. We've helped with the development of tachographs and speed limiters with limo engineering. We've gone to the seminars and everything else. Yeah, we've been heckled by all sorts of people over the years and we've said some very, very strong things on our website because there wasn't a website where the operator could actually get the facts in layman's terms. Those are websites were always difficult to see what you could do and what you couldn't do. We spelled it out, what you could and what you couldn't. Whether people took notice or not, that's up to them. But we moved on from that and we wanted to continue with street legal vehicles. I want to be able to sleep at night. I don't sell one vehicle that's not street legal, not interested. Others, if they do, it's up to them. So we've continued w with that thread. And yes, we've done the VW Crafter now with a coif and we've got the Mercedes Sprinter here and we'll go on from there. We've got other vehicles we're going to work to and I'm comfortable with it. Operators have always talked about grey areas with, 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 with limousines whether they have SVAs or coifs and so on and we know that there's a lot of prohibitions going on with vehicles the vehicles that can't have tachographs or speed limiters fitted it's a constant problem for the for, for the operator and there's the public demand for wanting to carry more than eight passengers that's always been the case in the last 10 years the time has come to actually have a vehicle that is correctly uh, licensed 
Um, so be it that this is a, a, a coif, it comes under PSV. Um, it's got to be embraced by the limousine operator. Um, otherwise, he's got to retain, you know, working with eight passengers. Um, it's the safety aspect. Um, event of an accident, you've got to consider that. So much time in the industry wasted by people looking for loopholes all the time. Whatever law comes out next, they're looking for another loophole. Whereas if they just got on with, 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 you know, with the facts and the legislation, things could move quicker and we would have more vehicles. I'm not looking for a monopoly in, in, in coif vehicles. You know, we hope that we, we, we inspire other companies to go forward and, and, and do the same. Um, we, we, what we don't want are vehicles being pulled off the road with prohibitions and you know everybody being thrown out at the races or whatever. Oh, if there's an accident, we don't we, we don't want those sort of repercussions. You know, yes, there are vehicles out there that have been pre-registered in the UK, right-hand drive vehicles, and been stretched in America and brought back, and they've not been declared to the DVLA and all that. We don't want to know about any of that. You know. Again, more loopholes to try and get right-hand drive vehicles on the road. We've come up with a solution. The best solution to do this has been with the Mercedes Sprinter or the VW Crafter for the time being. We have turned it around. I'm not going to be popular with other people. Um, we know that. There are people that will go out and try and make party buses, you know, but they've got to have a great understanding of coif. We hope that we have, in our way, bringing some respectability to the industry and this is why here we're with the bus and coach trade who have got PSVs in place they've got this you know the system in place to run it limousine operators can do the same um, we just we just need to move on and um, yes in the past yes we were all anoraks of American vehicles and yes we all love them and the bigger the better but we've got to be realistic now you know um, th this is the way it is we've got people's lives at stake and uh, We've got to go with what the government says. Like it or not, that's what we have to do.